Hello again, my peeps. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Hello again, my peeps. <laughs> Today was at a coin store recycling $25 in searched and circulated, well, uncirculated pennies. I found these four sitting there. And since I'm the type of person that's going to, you know, pick up old change and take a look at it, see if there's errors on it, you know what we're going to do. But before we do, <clears throat> I'm going to help you identify some of these. That's one peso from Mexico. That's a uh, two euro cent from Germany. And then you already, know, of course, know the two Lincolns. So, without any further ado, let's go check out these Lincolns and see what they can show us. And as you can see, it is a 1974 penny I found. I will go a little zoom in closer and look at these silver spots, but um, I'm guessing that would be actual zinc rot. Maybe because if you look at it, how this way it is colored around it like that, and how it 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 just takes away the zinc, but not like in any specific pattern like most people say is the zinc rot behind the the um, dates when you just see the silver metal. Is that some pretty damn smart zinc rot? If it is, but if you can see, this is all the way up on the coin into the, over there he even got a splash on his head and splash right there but otherwise it's pretty good but you know me i like to go in deep so let's go in deep oh she, he's he, look at it. let's see let's zoom in let's zoom in zoom in zoom in oh bam perfect Okay. Now, yeah, I admit, I mean, that, that has some good coloring to it. I will admit that. Especially like right around here, we used to be about gold coloring. That's pretty nice. That's not a trick of the lights either. Some people say it is, but it's not. It looks like a bit of the sevens missing. That's no big deal. He has. Barely can see VDB right there. Okay, Liberty, Liberty, Liberty. Isn't Lady Liberty beautiful? Look at that. It's even going around the L right there. But from what I can see, unless that zinc rod is going to like eat this away, most of the stuff you see right back here that they, they, they would classify as machine doubling because it's doubling the same the same letter three on the e even though you can't see it stretching out there we can see it right back there but on the r you can see it right there tops off there wraps there hits there and on the t you got it right there a little bit and the y right there as you see the y right there and the t more pronounced on the the r and the e as you can see it more visible that way but all right let's zoom in on boom the n i don't see the machine doubling there do you see a lot of zinc rod i'm guessing that's what it is i'm not sure what that is exactly to tell the truth the god looks good the we looks good we <laughs> And the truss is good. You still got that little splotch right there. They was, I mean, if you see a green tint around there, this all this green right here, they say that's the zinc right, the zinc away. So maybe I'm thinking I'll hold on to this penny and let the, see how long it takes for the zinc to be eaten away. So I mean, a, a silver looking penny that'd be pretty sick for a collection, even though it'd be worth nothing. But still, be a nice penny. And then after that. We go to the back. Nope, I have it right. I have it right. As soon as I get a penny. There we go. Side is just straight and zoom in. That might be classified as zinc rot too because it has that greenish tint to it. And you look what it's doing to around this, the O. Which also, the, the goldish tinge right there could also be. Or fractions from the light, but I doubt it. Because, but then again, I could be wrong. I do not know. I am still learning coin collecting myself. I've been for a while. Okay, the T and the D and the E. All look good. Okay. 
Here's what I've done. If, if, if you guys have been following my videos long enough, then you should remember the video I posted saying, are your Morgans real? And I showed you 25 fake Morgan silver dollars. Here's what I did today, just for some shits and giggles. I took two of those fake Morgan silver dollars, I went into a Walmart by where I live, and I planted them in two different spots. Let us see if, if people find them and think they're real. <laughs> they're hilarious. <laughs> But yeah, they're fake when they try to sell them and just throw them on the ground or some shit. <laughs> that would be so hilarious. I know, that's me being a butt, but still. It's all good. Gotta have some fun with life. And as I'm showing you on this coin, I don't see really any more massive machine doubling effects. I mean, that might be machine doubling, but not to like any extent that really makes a difference. And look at this, you got a lot of it, especially right down here, look at that. That is a lot of zinc rot. But time to zoom back out and resume normal uh, good looks, I guess you can call it. Oops, I gotta focus. Uh, there we go, that's better. Okay, that is the first penny. That is the 1974 penny. This is the 2004 penny. I mean, as you can see, I mean, I didn't find nothing good when I found these pennies. Maybe except that one penny that I'm going to let probably zinc rot or some shit. I'm not sure yet. But as you can see, I mean, nothing major. So back down we go, people. You know how good old Lincoln likes that. He likes to go down on him. <laughs> Take that however you want. Oh, wow, I just zoomed right down on his ear. How nice is that? Some of these pennies do have a double ear Lincoln. I don't think this one does. But, I mean, look at this. You know, that debris and stuff on there. I even... I actually give both coins a nice little wash with some Dawn Dish soap to get rid of the oils and greases on it that are from the human skin. Not to wash away any of this stuff that's on it. And it still came out looking like trash. I mean, look at that. The light's playing tricks with you. That is a double dye just by the light reflection. As you can see, it's reflecting right there and there. Up here, yeah, that's just the light reflection. Then you come over to the D, uh, maybe the D, and about the same thing, yeah. Let's check out the back of him and see what he says. I think I'm upright. Boom. Here we go. Next, I'm just looking at the two paintings I found sharing what I find with you guys. I don't really see anything massively interesting about these coins thus far. I haven't seen no double dies. I haven't seen nothing like that yet. I mean, yeah, I don't really see anything. I mean, I know you guys are seeing like a, a step right here. That's actually not a double die. That's this part of the original N saying, nope, not happening this time, dog. And you can see all the dirt that's still on there and all the sand. And you got your, your, you got your freaking grate right there. Yeah, that one turned out pretty nice for a pillar. There's all the stairs still. Very nice. Look at that. You can actually see all those stairs. You know the dirtiest shit. You still see them. They're pretty nice. I know stairs don't count on pennies, just on nickels, but still. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot of pennies out there with a full size stairs either because they get wiped away. 
Well, my peeps, as you found out, we searched these videos, this penny and both of them really thoroughly. Couldn't find nothing worth value with keeping on either of them, but it's all good. We all learned something new that some pennies are just worth face value. If you like the content I provide, please hit those like and subscribe buttons and let me know. And until next time, my peeps, you guys have a wonderful day. Bye. Oh,